Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch the Mighty Game of Thrones. We're on season two now, which is really exciting. Episode one, The North Remembers. We are probably due for some really exciting things. Uh, there's a war about to happen between the North and the Capitol and the Lannisters. Um, there are dragons introduced to the show. Obviously, they're just babies, but... Daenerys' group is disbanded, and all that's left are the women she saved, and uh, Khal Drogo is dead, which is wild. He kind of, I wasn't really happy with the way he got killed off. I thought that was kind of, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but regardless, we are probably due for some really cool stuff. Uh, I just can't wait. I want to dive right, in, right on in. Uh, season 2, from what I heard, is where the show gets really, really good. I'll be the judge of that, so... Without further ado, let me turn down that. Okay. All right. Get my synchronization mirror ready to go. And let's begin season two in three, two, one, start. Do, 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 do. The intro might actually be different now. So let's take a look. Down. I still love this music. Dun, dun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far, nothing really is different. Dragonstone. Is that new? Maybe. I, d I just know the intro changes throughout the show's span by the way game of thrones actually ended um this last weekend today is wednesday and it was the last sunday i think and i don't know anything about season eight whatsoever but i do know there are a lot of people who are uh disappointed with how it ended um i'm obviously really far away away from that i'll be the judge of that for myself when that time comes but we got a long way to go It is. It, it does suck that people are disappointed, though. Um, after eight seasons, you would hope it would end on a high note. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people liked it. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Game of Thrones. Oh, I've seen that helmet before. Oh my gosh. That guy got wrecked. Oh my god, Joffrey. Oh, wow. Oh, this kid has to clean it with the bucket and mop. <laughs> He's all late. He's about to get yelled at. Oh, my God. It's just like a an oaf. Looks like the American flag. My name day. It's obviously a trap. You're going to end up getting decapitated or something. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. What the hell? Dun, 
Dude, Joffrey, you're such a stupid little brat. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. She seems more uh grounded now. That's good for her, Sansa. Tyrion, my boy. He's now the right hand, I assume. I'm glad he's with them too. That view though. Oh, thank you, Tyrion. Bring a little sense to this group. I'm trying to tell if his armor looks... Work to be done. Joffrey, you're clearly not in the loop for being the freaking king. Dumbass kid. So summer is officially done. Is that basically Tyrion? and the boy whistling? I love I whistle myself. <laughs> Wonder how the war's going, by the way. Maybe you'll find out. Okay, so he just kind of got back re recently. Because they haven't talked since he's been on his trip. Oh, little you mad queen? Oh my god, I hate her too. I'm remembering all that now. Yeah, roaster. 
won every battle. Ooh. They're losing. I'm so glad he's she's being roasted by Tyrion. <laughs> that and your cheekbones. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Tyrion, I freaking love you, dude. Yeah, that's right. Look away in disgrace, bitch. Oh, I hate her. Such a terrible woman. Oh, this, is this Filch? Yeah, by the way, I did the, look this up after that last episode, and it is Filch from Harry Potter. Oh, never mind. Not this group. This is Braun. I thought it was back at the wall. Looks like the same setting. <laughs> These two. Okay, what are we watching now? Is it a perspective of an animal? It's got the fisheye cam, so it's implying as much. Whoa, it was like a comet. That's kind of badass. Oh, that's the that's but that that's the pond we see in like episode one, in the tree. Oh, it's a wolf, dire wolf, probably. And he's dreaming again. You gotta say, the bronze dreams, really weird. Really, really weird. <laughs> it's an interesting, like, backpack thing. Oh, by the way, this is Tonks from Harry Potter as well. My sister actually uh, told me this. Thank you, Presley. My sister and uh, my new brother have been watching this as well, but they're way farther ahead than me. I'm going to guess it's been like two weeks since the last episode. 
If I had to guess, roughly. Ooh, dragons. Maybe it is for the, maybe the return of the dragons. That's what the comment means, because they did return, so. Dude, I can't wait to see like what the world is like or how the world reacts when they see dragons again. That I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, speak of the devil, I think we're going back to Daenerys' group. We get to see some baby dragons, hopefully. Oh yeah, hell yeah we do. That's so cool. Dude, her lips are all chapped and stuff. This group's probably seen better days. Oh, well, looks like they're about to eat because this horse just fell over. What, like, perfect timing. Was her horse. Dude, this guy's this guy's cool. I was like looking carefully to see if the horse is breathing. Cause sometimes they do that in movies, they forget to like Hopefully one of them comes back with some good news. <laughs> you are my last hope. What about the other two? Like, F them. Hmm. I can only assume they developed a long relationship or something in the books. And it just didn't show it in the uh, show that much. What, what could, maybe the comet could stand for like everything that could be the dragons could be the war could be any I don't know, whatever probably the dragons but wow what a stark contrast this is and that was not a pun <laughs> although it's a pretty good one Oh, that's right. At the last episode, they, they're going to venture out into the north of the wall. This, this should be kind of cool.
<laughs> you, dude. Yeah. Sam, Sam is my like surrogate here. What does he do with his sons? You're prettier than half my daughters. That's freaking creepy, dude. He's like, my ex. What a frickin' creep. Oh, God. I would rather be alone. Yeah, listen to him. Why do you hate him so much? That guy's a creep. Hate him already. That's just a whole weird incest situation. Don't want any part of that guy's story. Get out of here.
I like the commander. He's kind of straightforward and blunt, but he I think he means well. And I do kind of respect that. And I do think he wants John to be his successor, which is really cool. And I'm going to take a wild prediction right now that somehow the army in the north, John's going to try to have them join his brother's army in the war. And who are these people? What are their shields? What's the insignia say? I have many questions racing through my mind. Like, who are these people? But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Is he going to stick his hand into a fire and pull out a sword? That seems like a very weird ritual. He's just going to end up burning his hand. Oh, he's wearing a glove, at least. Okay. I guess he's fine. Sorry I'm not reacting much. I don't really know what's going on here. Again, I'm sure it'll explain. Which is just really weird. Kind of random. Stannis. This is Robert's brother's group. So this guy, this is the guy's group who's supposedly next in line to be king, technically. Because Joffrey isn't of age, or his actual son. Is he slipping poison? What the hell's going on here?
Oh. Oh, is he going to poison himself? Oh, no, he's going to give it to him. Oh, he's going to poison her? Oh, no, he's going to poison himself. Oh, no, he's going to... Oh... Uh Whoa. I guess she's immune to poison. Okay. The fire burns them all away. Wow, that okay. that girl's intimidating for sure. Interesting. Okay, and this must be Rob's army. Very cool. I'm glad they're winning, dude. That's freaking badass. Look at Jamie, dude. Hmm. <laughs> His dire wolf right behind him. Oh, dude, it's probably growing pretty big. Oh, dude. Yeah, Jamie's a little panicky. That shit's cool, dude. Ooh. 
Three victories. Okay, that's probably been a couple weeks. A few weeks. Damn, way to intimidate Jamie, dude. I bet he shit himself right there. Oh my god, this is this is a great start to the season so far. I'm ready for this for this war, dude. I'm ready for like I mean this stuff's really great too. I'm having a good time. That's a crazy view. I love it. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, she's going to get found out for sure. <laughs> Biggest little liar. Everyone's had such like an interesting like journey so far, and it's only been a season plus this episode. It's really kind of amazing. What a badass you are. Little finger. Seize him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Power is power. Oh, you had your little moment, Queen. Oh, I'm a badass. No, you're you're effing up the Lannisters, and Littlefinger just talked shit to you, and you got pissed. That one mopping was probably one of the eyes of the the people, the guy.
Damn. King of the North, yeah. Damn, dude. Dude. Freaking Rob, man. Definitely top third character for me now. I love... I just love him. He's cool, dude. He's a cool man. <sighs> That's so cool. <laughs> Rally the rats. <laughs> Gray joy. One hundred thousand. The Baratheon, I don't think, wants to join you guys. <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for negotiating my war treaties. Oh. <clears throat> he would be. Freaking bitch queen. Oh, looks like they're remodeling the place.
Did he hear he's a bastard child? <clears throat> oh, that's that's what you heard? Yeah, slap that little... Oh my god, dude. Yeah, look look like a little piece of shit that you are, man. I'm just waiting for this guy to be decapitated by Rob. Oh my god, and then we get this. This show is definitely not for children. I've said that many times, but... They have mail? Uh... Like, horrors too? Interesting. Oh boy. What's going on? Oh my. Oh no, they found that girl who was raising the baby. Oh, that's the, oh, it's the bastard kid. Oh no. Oh no, that's, that's Robert's bastard child. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Joffrey's not a thing around. No. Oh my god, they're after are they after the, the blacksmith's kid? He better be okay, dude. I like that guy. Oh my gosh! Joffrey, you are a, such a piece of shit. You are so stupid. You are heartless and just a just. I don't even. I'm running into words to say, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hopefully he gets out of there before that shit happens. Yeah, take Arya with you. Yes. Good. Oh my god, dude. Joffrey asking like for babies to be taken from their mothers and like people just drowning and oh my I I 
And that's where it's gonna end. All right? Yeah. Dude, Joffrey, seriously, I cannot wait for someone to just impale you and cut your head off and put your head on a spike. I will clap. I will stand up out of my seat and clap if we get a scene where they storm in and Joffrey's crying, begging for mercy, and they're just like, nah, bitch. Like, bam, cut his head off and like, I, I hope that happens. I really do. Or if he like falls off a balcony, that'd be kind of cool. Or if like Snow sends his wolf to like kill him, that'd be sick. Let's see other what other ways it'd be cool for Joffrey to go. Hmm. I don't know. I do hope he goes at some point though. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Season two is starting off on a high note. Uh, by the way, it's kind of cool how they kind of tied in Robert Baratheon's brother's stories. I, at first, I didn't know what was going on, but they did a great way of tying you in by not openly saying what it was. Uh, and that red-haired girl, dude, she, like, drank the poison even though she knew it was poison. And that old guy, kudos to you, willing to die and trying to take her out with you. Um, but interesting stuff. But now... Uh, Rob's going to send his mom to go down and negotiate, even though he was building his army to specifically overpower the other two armies because he, he views himself as the rightful heir. I don't know. Like, I wish people were just more content with the power and the things they had in life as it is because that guy seemed pretty well off in his life. I mean, he was like lord of his land and whatnot. Why do you need more? <laughs> if anything, it's if anything, being a lord or like nothing anything below king is more secure. Like you have your own land, you live you live comfortably, you have a family. Being on the throne right now is a shit show. Uh people are always trying to kill you. Uh the last two kings, the last three kings or whatever have been like backstabbed and like died horrifically and it's been very quick successions. And everyone has their eyes on it. So it's like, don't, why would you waste your time with that shit? Game of Thrones? Who wants that throne? The thing's nothing about trouble. But it makes for good entertainment, I suppose. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Muddy Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.